Good afternoon, sir and fellow students. So we are to present the given problem given by Sir Rogon. La 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 la! So for letter A, we will verify if the following limits exist. So for letter B, we suppose f of x is a function formed by performing exactly one of the four fundamental operations. Using the function g of x and h of x, determine if f of x if equals to 0 or does not exist. So now, let the solving begin. So today, we're going to solve the equation problem given to us, which is the limit of f of x as x approaches to 0 and g of x as x approaches to 0. And our given value is f of x equals to 5 over x raised to 2 and g of x equals to 8 over x plus 1 raised to 3. And we're going to substitute the x and g of x, which is 5 over x raised to 2 multiplied to 8 over x plus 1 raised to 3. And next, we're going to solve it, which is 40 over x raised to 2 x plus 1 raised to 3. Next, we're going to change our x to 0, which is our limits. So, the result would be 40 over x raised to 2, x plus 1 raised to 3. After that, we're going to solve it again and the answer will be 40 and the limit does exist. Now, let's move on to the next number. The limitation of f of x and g of x as x approaches to negative 1. And the value of these two are f of x is equals to 5 over x squared and g of x equals to 8 over x plus 1 cube. This, form, this equation indicates a multiplication process and if we multiply these two, the result will be 40 over x squared times x plus 1 cube. Now let's substitute the negative 1 to the x. This will become 40 over negative 1 squared times negative 1 plus 1 cube. And it will result to 40 over 0. Now we all know if the denominator by fraction or division is 0 in the limitation or in our topic, it will become or it will result to undefined or the limit does not exist. We are going to try and solve the given equation to us, which is the limit of g of x as x approaches to negative 1 and limit of h of x as x approaches to negative 1. So our given values are g of x equals 8 over x plus 1 raised to 3 and h of x equals negative 8 over x squared plus 2x plus 1 raised to 3. Next naman na gagawin natin is to substitute our given values sa given equation natin which is going to be g of x and f of x equals to 8 over x plus 1 raised to 3 times negative 8 over x squared plus 2x plus 1 raised to 3. Next naman na gagawin natin is to factor both sides which is going to be 8 over x plus 1 raised to 3 and negative 8 over x plus 1 raised to 6. Next naman natin is uh, isosolve natin ito which is going to be negative 64 over x plus 1 raised to 9. Next naman na gagawin natin is papalitan natin yung x natin ng negative 1 which is our limit. So, ang magiging resulta is negative 64 over negative 1 plus 1 raised to 9. After that, itatry na natin isolve. So, ang magiging sagot is negative 64 over 0 which is undefined. So, for letter B, 
Suppose f of x is a function form by performing exactly one of the four fundamental operations using the function g of x and h of x determine f of x if the limit f of x is equal to 0 as x approaches to negative 3 or limit f of x does not exist as x approaches to negative 3. Maganda nga po sa inyo mga kababayan. Ako nga pala si Mr. Spagliardo para ipakita sa inyo ang nakaata sa akin presentation. At ito ang ay ang nilalayon ng video na ito ay hanapin kung paano makuha ang mga sumusunod. The limitation of f of x equals 0 as x approaches to negative 3 at the limitation of f of x equals does not equate as x approaches to negative 3. Ngayon, narito naman yung mga given sa amin para matulungan tayo sa paghanap sa sa paghanap sa dalawang ito. Una ay h of x equals x squared plus 6x plus 9 squared over 10. Na sinundan ni g of x equals 3 over x plus 2. Ngayon, ang condition sa atin, ang condition sa amin ay gumamit kami ng isa sa four fundamental operation which is addition, subtraction, multiplication at division. Ngayon, ang aking pinili ay multiplication. Kaya kung i-multiply natin itong dalawa, ito ang kalalabasan. Ay ito maging itsura. h of x equals x squared plus 6x plus 9 squared over 10 times g of x equals 3 plus x plus 2. Ngayon, since meron tayong nakitang squared or radical sa loob, siya sa labas, ang gagawin natin dito ay i-expand. Kaya siya ay magiging 3 over x plus 3 times x plus 3 times x plus 3 over 10. Ngayon, kaya nakuha natin itong x plus 3 ay dahil sa may kita natin na ang 6 at 9 ay pwede ma-factor gamit ang 3, right? Ngayon, since na may similarity silang dalawa, ikakancel natin ito. Kaya ang matitira na lang sa atin ay 3 times x plus 3 over 10 over ay, o tama, 10. At isasubstitute na natin yung value nito or yung nasa ilalim ng, delim, ng limitation which is yung negative 3. Kaya ito yung magiging 3 times negative 3 plus 3 over 10. At kung isusolve natin itong nasa taas, ito ay magiging 0 over, o oh 0. At kung i-divide natin siya ay magiging 0. At sa nakita natin, para makuha ang number 4, or yung the limitation of f of x equals 0 as x approaches to negative 3, gagamitin natin siya ng multiplication. For number 5, limit of f of x as x approaches to negative 3 does not exist. Using the same function, g of x and h of x, so we will going to divide. Since minultiply na natin kanina, gagamit naman tayo ng ibang operation para makuha yung does not exist. So, yung h of x, kukunin natin yung reciprocal niya, which is 10 over x squared plus 6x plus 9 squared. Imumultiply natin siya sa 3 over x plus 3 cube. So, ang makuha natin is 30 over x plus 3 raised to 7. So, pag sinabstitute na natin yung negative 3 sa x is magiging negative 3 plus 3 raised to 7. So, ang magiging equal ng baba natin, ang denominator natin is 0 and numerator is 30, which is undefined. So, the limit does not exist. Yay!